All right, good morning everyone. Chris here, back with a video. Today is gonna to be kind of, kind of cool. In my last video, I mentioned that we purchased a, or in the middle of purchasing a new toy box storage facility for uh, my, my father and I. Today is the day that I can show you guys what that is all about. We're going there today at about 1.30, I think, with you know selling agent and stuff like that, just to do a, Kind of a thorough inspection we want to we want to map everything out figure out how much room we have for car lifts uh, we want to get some of those haley cabinets installed in there because those are pretty cool i have to have the have the, the gladiator ones in my garage so does my dad but the haley ones we've seen at fair jackson they're kind of a, a few steps above as far as quality and and just strength i guess over the gladiator so we want to we want to get that area measured out and kind of mapped out to figure out what what the this damn bag uh, figure out what the, what the what the plan is for that and I thought I'd bring you guys again along with me for that I think we're gonna need so my dad wants to do three high car lifts meaning one on the ground and two up that kind of sketches me out a little bit just the thought of it I think it might, not, might look cool but I don't want to have to it wouldn't, it wouldn't be a bad thing but I don't want to have to move two cars to get one type of thing you know, I can just move one I don't know it might be okay but more importantly we want to make sure that there's enough um, I guess headroom for that there is radiant heating like what you would see at a, like a dealership and that obviously hangs from the ceiling and that we don't want you don't want you don't want cars too close to that so I think that the two car lifts are gonna be too much so I have to go with the single car lift but we'll need probably about four of them. It's a 4,000 square foot metal building and it's got this sweet CO2 ventilation system where, you know, if you have the door shut in the middle of winter time and you're moving cars around, you know, it detects the CO2 from the exhaust and it'll vent it out for you. Uh, it's got three big ass overhead garages. Um, it's got, it's got a wash bay, it's pretty neat. And, puppies in the back and and yeah that's about it so we're gonna go there today at 1 30 I'll show you guys I'll film the outside inside check it out and make a we'll make I don't want to make a series about it but you know we're gonna we're gonna modify some things we're gonna add some, we're gonna add air conditioning so it's kind of weather I guess weather safe year-round you know the air conditioning will help take out some of the moisture and things like that during the summertime and we're gonna add I want to add uh, like a vacuum on I saw a video online, I think it was on Matt's channel, that showed a vacuum that was built into the wall, kind of like what you see for residential homes. Um, what's the name of that vacuum? I can't think of it, but it, you know, it's just like, it's like tubes that run throughout your house, and I want to do something like that for the new toy box. And we're gonna do some cosmetic changes. Might change out some panels because the previous guy he had some things hanging from the wall that we just simply won't we won't, we won't need, and the holes are gonna bug me. And the, the metal panels are cheap; they're like ten bucks a piece, so it's not you know it's not gonna break the bank to um, replace them. The buying process was pretty was pretty interesting. So the guy wanted you know a good amount of money for it. We think more than what he had into it probably to cover himself you know for like selling fees and things like that uh, so we offered him you know what we thought was fair and uh, he of course countered and then we countered and then he countered and then, and then we accepted um, we, we came to discover that he had accepted uh, like 10k over his asking price once and uh, like 5k under his asking price however something like this it's near impossible for a bank to to finance because you know, what what is the building worth? It's worth what it's you know designed and intended purposes for, which is store cars and maintain wash cars. You know it's, it's a shop, it's a glorified shop. You know it's 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 pretty well done. You'll see. Um, anyway, so we just went in there with a cash cash offer, and it worked. Okay, so we're gonna go there in a couple hours. I'll uh, bring you guys along with. So stay tuned for that. Ah, sick. All right, so here we are at the new toy box. We're gonna just walk around it real quick. We have to do an inspection still, and everything with that. We're still waiting for people to come here and let us in. And here's the building. It's 
all metal. It's about 4,000 square feet. It's got these two huge dock doors. Our drive up doors right here. And I, actually, the plot allows it so we can mirror this exact thing right here on this plot here. So this is, it's all, it's a little less than two acres, but this allows, and it's already approved by the city to, if we want to double up our space, we can basically eliminate this center, or I guess right side wall, and mirror this exact thing over here. Probably won't do that, at least not, you know, in the near future, but maybe, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see how much we fill this thing up. Look at the size of these doors. And it's got the epoxy floor in. Around here comes Oops. this back area. A couple, got a couple high windows here, bringing some natural light. A little landscaping on the side here, and we're gonna fence this in. I think, uh, basically, on the property line, and probably put a gate right there, just kind of make things more secure because there is residential back here, and also so we can potentially park some of the the trailers out back here. Uh, this window right here is for a back office. Here's this nice big CO2 vent. So there's a sensor inside that once it, it senses, you know, exhaust from your, your vehicles, it'll engage and pull out fresh air from the opposite corner and vent it out back here. So as we come around back, so, so again, kind of come around this way. Property comes right about to there. This, this grass ends here. Uh, then we have a third drive up door. And again, we'll probably store some trailers out here. Something of a little bit less value. It's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I said earlier, but the guy, the guy wanted a pretty penny for this. And it's, it's worth it. You know, it's, he has into it what we, I think, paid for it. But to find someone that has, you know, just cash or whatever to it, that has the ability to purchase something like this is, is, is hard. That's why it's been in the market for so many months and he had several offers and again, the financing just fell through. But, uh, so I think I think it's nice that he found someone that, that will appreciate it and use it for what it's intended for. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and check it out inside. Remember Christopher. Hey Christopher. Hey, how are you doing? Good sir, how are you? Good. 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 Nice to see you. <laughs> this will be handy if you're here to entire booklet that documents the building. Perfect. So this is, you know, Apple put this together when the, this is a manual we give to the owner. Okay. The building's done. And so it's just got, you know, all this in it. Okay. Very cool. Let's check this out. Here's the inside. We're, we're, we're probably going to replace some of these panels because they're cheap and you know, we don't want holes and stuff and like that in there. Okay, well, actually, she is. It's got a nice floor drain right here. So this would be a wash bay. We'll probably put two cars in here. We, we want to we wanna put the car lifts between this support and this support. So these two. I'm guessing those are about 10 feet. Well, let's see here. One, two, three, eight. Ah, uh, maybe like 12 feet each. So we could probably fit four, I think, lifts right here. That'll give us enough room to kind of bring a car in and go around. And same thing over here. And yeah, we'll take off some of this type of stuff. They have, he used it for something similar that we're going to use it for. Unless we had a professional, you know, type cleanup here. Oh, I wonder if those come with it. Cool. That's a clock. Oh, that's a clock. That does a break. Uh, anyway, and it's also got electric pressure washer that's already plumbed. So let me bring you back here. We're going to put some nice Haley. It's smaller than I remember. We're going to put some nice Haley cabinets in this corner. In this utility room. I'm not too familiar with hot seat or however you say that. And here's the pressure washer and it's got a water heater. We're going to put kinetical system uh, softener in here and see things like this. I want to replace this panel because it looks like someone just Hulk smashed it. <laughs> and then it's got a shitter in here. 
when you get real excited, you gotta take the emergency dumps. And then we got a back little office here. You're getting first things. Getting what you need. Getting what I need. Good choice. And we got plenty of room for expansion because we'll need electrical. We're gonna probably put a pizza oven out here that we have at work. And yeah, we got. I think it's gonna be close for the height paw. So we have this radiant heat, which is you can't really tell. It's this thing right here, radiant heat that travels the entire length. And one over here too. Okay, so we're gonna, we don't want to get too close to that. Okay, uh, I think there's room for storage up there, but I mean we're not gonna probably put anything up there. So I just wanted to show you guys what you know the the projects I'm gonna start out as, and then we'll, uh, we'll fill her up. So we're gonna take some dimensions here real quick. We're gonna be want to lay out for cabinets and lifts here. All right, so here's what we've got. We got we got plot drawings here. I got some kind of rough stuff here. We're gonna we're gonna mark out. Here's what we're thinking: uh, two single posts. I'm sorry, two four posts per section. So we can do like uh, like two, four, six, eight like eight cars in this section here. And in the winter time, we just put some on the end facing the doors out. But in the summertime, you know, we want to have room to kind of bring them out and through like so and then we want to have this area all clear too for a car to wash yeah excited yeah there's some storage thing up here but i'm not really sure what and then haley cabinets probably to this support so that'll, that'll come out maybe two three feet from the wall and then do a nice little L here, replace this with a cabinet as a sink built in. Probably move this up and over more towards the wash bay area. Here's those windows that kind of bring in natural, natural light. Not really sure what this light's doing up there. I don't think. Remember, these things having a ceiling. It's probably just for storage. Yeah. Sure has that, and this one should have a too. So that's probably just lights up the storage area. Nice little office. We probably plan on putting a refrigerator in here. You know, because it would be nice to have some, uh, I don't know, like some group parties over here or something. Uh, what else? Yeah, these are about 20 foot doors. Three of them. They're about 20 feet wide. Looks like they're almost square. Maybe 18 feet yeah. high. But we have a good source Here's that back. vent for the CO2. That opens up. And this guy will suck out the air with this machine. Yeah, we're excited. We should close on this thing in a couple weeks. Yeah, we were talking about putting an AC in it. We're probably Probably put that right in here, and you know, we'll probably plumb through here, but maybe it'll shoot the vent out up here because it's not like we're trying to cool certain areas. We just want to cool the entire thing to kind of keep it climate controlled in the summertime. Um, yeah, what do you think, pubes? See these fans up here? Talk about yeah, you probably you probably put them right here in the center. Maybe just one right in the center. You know, in, in between these two radiant yeah. heat pipes. So all it take is one. It would look cool <laughs> at least. And then probably this is pretty good lighting, but we want to LED. Yeah, maybe LED. Maybe double the double the fixtures. But yeah, this makes those high bay ones that we have at work. I like this floor. A couple cracks here and there, but no. Yeah. What is this? I don't think this is radiant floor heating. I doubt it. I doubt it. Yeah. 
but it that's, might be this. Yeah, I don't know. I think that's a gas line. That's the gas line, I think. I think you're right. I don't know what that is then. Yeah, I saw something in here like it, but maybe maybe Mike or Bruce would know. See, did you check out the utility room yet? Did you check out the utility room yet? So it's got these right here. That's you. It might be before. Yeah. Right? So also, these ones yeah, but this has to. This, this, this one comes with a water softener, which probably goes. I don't know. Some of this is irrigation, too, remember that? Yeah. I think there'd be a lot more. Yeah. I feel like there's radiant floor heating. Look at these things. I don't know what these are all about. Yeah, I spotted that last time. If I just replace this panel, it's cheap. I don't know anything about this because like they cleaned up all that oil. This thing is leaking somewhere. Oh, I saw it back here, right there. I don't know much about this brand. Yeah, this is a pressure washer. I was joking with Susan about this too. You know, when you're going to deal with exotic irrigation, they always leak. It doesn't matter what you do. We could, we could potentially take the openers and do those little side. I, these might be too big, actually. Um, they make, LiftMaster makes uh, side openers that kind of sit right here, so it, it makes you, you, you lose you lose this, which isn't that big of a deal. And then you can also, not much height there, actually, you can, I think they make high bay track that will go up a little bit, and, but we don't need that. This is high enough anyway. I saw that, yeah. It, it still is. I checked it out. So we'd want to have that repaired. Sweet. Because you know we'll we'll be using and just start over. Right. Because we don't need you know hooks for ladders and we don't need the mat things. Right. So all all that would be taken off. He is still out there. I think. Who's out there? Bruce. Hey Bruce. The toy box. All this for some car storage. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. We'd be back. Actually, this one has a bulb in it. One in the back does not. I think it's all busted on the bottom. We'd want the lighthouse guys to replace those with yeah, uh, LEDs get, too. And get rid of these little beehives that are found throughout. Yeah, make a notation of that. We'll catch that on the inspection. Yeah, there's a bunch. It's kind of like 20 something last time. Yeah. Excellent. I'm gonna do some more measurements and stuff like that but i wanted to give you guys a sneak peek at the new toy box so all right guys thanks for watching stay tuned for more videos thanks